Omaha's weather leader, Chief Meteorologist Bill Ranby with your accurate weather now forecast. Ranby Factor time this evening gets a Ranby Factor of four. It's unpleasant. You know that. It's been like that all day. Cloudy, drizzly, dreary, damn. Time to paint it red, baby, though. Yeah, I know. People can't go to the game, but they're still playing. Huskers, the Buckeyes. Looks about the same cloudy to start, mostly cloudy to end, little light north breeze temperatures, lower 50s. 49 and 35 in Omaha today. Precipitation, not a lot, 0.07, but a little. This is almost done. Pollen levels, just a tiny bit of weed pollen, air quality in good range. Hard freeze is coming Saturday morning that'll end the growing season. That's Papillion, Shadow Lake Town Center. 42 degrees, raining lightly in Omaha. North wind at 17 miles an hour. We still have a spread in temperatures. A couple hours ago it was 80 in Maryville. Now it's 59, 45 Shenandoah, 39 Fremont, 36 in Norfolk. Winds, everybody out of the north now. So the cold air overspreading the area. A couple of showers and a rumble of thunder here in northwest Missouri up toward Clarinda and Creston in Iowa. We've just been deeper in the cold air, so it's been drizzle and sprinkles in the Omaha metro. Snow north of us, South Dakota. In Minnesota and this along the West Coast, a strong jet stream. It's not a huge powerhouse storm system, but computer models continue to focus on the time frame of later Sunday, Sunday night, early Monday. European computer model now produces several inches of snow in Omaha and the GFS computer model still continues to indicate a heavy snow band. The, pot, the timing of this is probably going to be Sunday evening and Sunday night. Again, the amounts are not particularly certain yet, but it looks like there'll be real disruption to travel, particularly Monday morning as temperatures are cold and will have had snow. This evening, the rain around starting to move out. By tomorrow morning, it's cloudy, it's breezy, it's cold. There could be a couple of snowflakes in the air north of us, but no substantial snow. And then partial sun into the afternoon as cold high pressure moves in. That sets the stage for a hard freeze down in the 20s. On Saturday morning, there's currently a freeze watch for that time frame. Showers taper off this evening, stays cloudy and cold tonight. Precipitation will be done well before it gets to 32. There won't be icing. It's just not nice at all this evening. 33 at 7 a.m., mainly cloudy at noontime. May not get out of the 30s tomorrow or perhaps just barely to 40 with the partial late day sun. Impact weather Saturday, hard freeze in the morning. Impact weather Sunday. Rain and snow changing to snow and then probably some accumulation of snow Sunday evening and Sunday night. Monday morning could be tricky for travel and look at the cold temperatures for Monday there.